Okay, so you may have been wondering, since I posted my last vlog on Tuesday, what the situation is with the job. I got the job. <laughs> so I'm very excited. I heard from them on Friday and they confirmed that I had the job. So it did take a while, but that's okay. And then I got my contract on Tuesday and I have now signed that, sent that back. So I am officially employed at a nine to five corporate desk job, which is very exciting. It's obviously, you know, a step that I wanted to make earlier, but just the way that things were in the world just didn't happen that way. And that's okay. It happens sometimes. So I took a little pause, was doing the part-time retail thing for a minute, and I'm very happy to be moving to something closer to what I want to do in the future. So I'm very happy to be closing that chapter of my life. I have loved working with my team and getting to know them at, uh, at my work. And I'm going to miss them dearly, but I am ready for a change for sure. So that's going to be very... All of this being said, I need to try on all of my business casual clothing that I have because I've not needed to wear business casual clothing in a long time since I've been working in this retail job. It's been like jeans and plain t-shirts for the most part. So I need to see what fits, what I have to build a wardrobe with. I have always been someone that has a lot of business casual clothing. I've needed it for different organizations and different events that I've been a part of in the past. So I have a lot of business casual clothing, but over the past year, I have been going to the gym a whole bunch and then not at all when things have been closed, working from home a whole bunch, not at all when I've been completely unmotivated by the millions of lockdowns we've been in. So my body has changed so much over the past couple of years in which I've not been wearing any of that business casual clothing. So I have to see what the heck fits, get rid of some of the stuff that doesn't fit and identify some spots in my wardrobe that I need to buy new things for, for this job. That being said, I also don't know how fancy this job is with the office. I kind of feel like it's not super fancy so some of my stuff that i have might be kind of irrelevant anyways because it's you know pretty fancy stuff more like um just regular business instead of business casual so i will have to take a look and kind of evaluate that but we're gonna go through all the ridiculous amounts of business casual clothing that's been sitting collecting dust in my closet for several months now and see what fits so let's go so we are going to start out with dresses i have kind of pared down over the past little it anyways with dresses that I just found I wasn't attracted to wearing anymore and we're going to try these on see what fits and see what's realistic this dress is newer I bought it fairly recently when we went on a day trip to Merrickville just before this most recent lockdown so I know that this one fits it's very cute it's so comfortable so this is definitely gonna be a good one it's kind of more of a like fall dress because it's longer. So I think that that's going to be a general issue for me. A lot of my business casual stuff is for like fall, winter, maybe spring. I don't really have very much summer business casual. That's kind of foreign to me for the most part because in the summers and in the hotter months, I've never been working in a business casual environment, never really had any events to go to during that time that I wouldn't otherwise maybe wear like a sundress or something like that to. So I kind of have a large gap for this particular season. So we'll see. I bought this a few years ago. It's like a little big, but I think it's still gonna work. It's super flattering. It's from Banana Republic. I love this one. I got it for like sorority photos, I think. And at the time we just needed a bright red dress and I didn't have one and I was like maybe I'll just get a cheap one but I decided to like invest in a nice piece for my professional wardrobe so this one is great I love it and yeah it's comfortable and yeah a little big but I think it'll be fine this is one of my very favorite business casual dresses that I have it's from Brooks Brothers it was extremely expensive but I bought it several years ago I love it so much Again, this is like a little big, 
for me, but it's not bad. And truly, this is one that I'm going to keep forever. I will get it tailored if it's ever not the right size for me, which I might do, but there's like not really enough to take in right now that it would be worth it for tailoring. But I love this dress. But again, it's like kind of fall because it's plaid and high grooves and oh. heavier material too. So this is like not realistic for summer, but I love this dress. Another favorite, which will work for summer as well. This is just a navy blue dress from J. Crew, and it's got the like scalloped edge at the top and around the bottom. And on the back, it's really pretty. It does like a V in the back. So this will be very great for spring summer situation. Um, it has a zipper at the side of the dress and I don't have it quite done up because I can't just get that tiny little bit at the top. I understand why dresses put a zipper at the side because it like hides it more and whatever. They're so difficult to zip up. Okay, also this dress with these beautiful shoes, which I, I don't know how to show you these, hold on. From Sam Edelman that I got and I have literally never worn because I bought them on a whim when they were on clearance at winners they're this beautiful like watercolor blue pump and they're so pretty like i had to buy them even though i literally did not have a relevant job at the time another staple dress for me that is super comfortable it looks kind of more casual in this clip the material makes it I don't know, fancy or more business, whatever. It's just a maroon dress. Again, kind of fall because of the color, but because it's sleeveless, it can definitely be a summer situation. And it's so comfortable and breezy. It's like a bit of a high-low kind of situation. Um, it balloons a little, so it's not like the most flattering, but from the front, you can't really tell. Plain black, long sleeve, t-shirt dress. Can't go wrong. It was like Old Navy, $10 very comfortable because it's cotton and it's stretchy and whatnot again not really a summer dress because black long sleeve but very comfortable good for fall winter good this is a dress that i've had for a very long time you can't really see from afar but it's got this like light pattern on it repeating geometric pattern and it's fine. I don't know that it's my favorite anymore, but it's cute because it has like a window cut out in the back. But I think it's not going to work because you can see my bra through the back. My bra comes up like really high. So the cutout like shows my whole bra. So I think I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this one, which is too bad because I liked this one, but I also did get a lot of wear out of it. So I don't feel like it's a waste, but I just feel like it's not very much my style anymore. And also like with the cutout in the back, seeing my whole bra, not possible. So another plain black t-shirt dress. This one's like a, a faux wrap dress from Old Navy. So I really like this one. Um, it's very low cut. So I don't think it's office appropriate unfortunately. If I were to wear something underneath it, it would be, but I don't know that's my vibe. And I'm okay if this dress is just like a going out dress, date dress, that kind of thing. But I like this dress. It's very flattering. I just don't think it's office appropriate, which is totally fine, but I will probably get more wrap dresses because, well, I feel like that's an office staple in general for people anyways, because they're comfortable. They're very flattering. And yeah, so I will look for more wrap dresses, but this is not office appropriate. We are going to move on to pants, which I have plenty of, and skirts, which I only have a few of. And I'm just gonna try them all on with, with a plain black t-shirt, just so I can look at the actual pants themselves and not be trying to pair things into outfits and whatnot. So we're gonna try with a plain black shirt. Just some plain black pants that are actually elastic at the back, which is very convenient and very comfortable. They have pockets, which obviously love in any pant, but especially a work pant in case I need to be walking around and getting things from different people. I like to have like a pen on me 
for my phone as well. So I love these pants. They are very comfortable. I've had them for, I don't even know, six, seven years maybe. They are excellent pants. They're kind of like cropped. They're like ankle-ish length. You can even see. These are some forest green business pants that I got a couple years ago when I did the Frank and Oak style subscription box for a little bit. And I kind of just forgot to return these. I was going to return them, but I actually like them. I've worn them a few times now and yeah, they're pretty good. They've got like pleats in the front, again, pockets. These have belt loops on them too, which is nice. And they're like a zippered pant. So I like popping on, I have like a little cheetah print belt that I love matching with these pants. They're a little bit tight in the thigh and like loose in this region. So they're not 100% the fit that I would want, but they're still good pants. So I'm not gonna get rid of them just yet, but they are comfortable and they are tapered at the ankle and just come straight to my ankle. Just got these sage green pants very recently, again on that little day trip that we took to Merrickville. They are so comfortable. They are zipper with a button at the top. Again, giant pockets, which is very nice, but they're very light material, so that's gonna be very nice for summer. Just a light, nice spring summer pant. Again, tapered and a little bit cropped, but yeah, they're a little lighter than the last pair. They're super comfortable just to wear like a plain top. These are some fun wide leg balloony pants, I like to call them. And they are, again, very wide leg. They are elastic around the waist and they have this like large tie on them as well. So they're super flattering, very, very high waist. Um, so they hit me really nicely and kind of bring me in here, which is lovely. They are very airy as well. So I think they'll be fine for summer, obviously black preferably fall winter but they're very nice and I think they'll look super cute with some heels as well because they'll like dangle nicely over the edge of a heel so that's lovely and I'm really glad that these still fit and that I these are some light gray pants similar to the first pair of black ones that I tried on they are elasticated at the back and have some nice pockets in them I love the light gray it's good for spring summer obviously that's why I bought them in the first place they're from Zara and tapered a little cropped I think we know what kind of pants I clearly like in my professional wardrobe so we love this kind of like casual fit nice looking work pant and these are going to be so good for summer and again super cute with those heels that I tried on earlier the blue Sam Edelman ones very cute some wide leg plaid pants from Joe Fresh. One of my girlfriends that I met doing camps, her name is Morgan, and she has a beautiful style Instagram account called Lost in My Closet on Instagram. Please look her up because her outfits are amazing. Posted a photo in, I don't even know, maybe September 2020 of a matching plaid set from Joe Fresh. So these pants have a matching plaid shirt and it's kind of like boxy and structured. It's very cute. When I went to Joe Fresh, to an actual Joe Fresh store, like not in a grocery store, I found these pants on clearance and I bought them because I just, they had them in almost my right size. So I was like, just buy them. And then hopefully I'll find the shirt to wear as a matching set because I became obsessed with it when I saw it on Morgan's Instagram. And I never found the shirt. So I just have the pants. But the pants are cute anyways. I basically only wear them with like a plain black shirt for the most part, but they're very cute. Again, wide leg, zippered at the top and have nice pockets in them. They're a little tight on me, to be honest, but it's not that bad. Mostly fall, so that's when I- A plain gray paper bag skirt from J. Crew, And it's like a light gray color. I like this, just like a staple kind of basic. It has pockets, which is again, very important when working an office job and maybe having to wander around with a couple things in your pocket. A black pencil skirt, which I've had for many years. And I find that the style of it kind of shows that it's several years old. It's got this kind of 
um, lace material over two panels in the front. I still think it looks nice and it looks professional and I'm going to keep it for now, but it's not super my style anymore and it's almost plain but not completely plain and I find that the lace on the front of it really kind of restricts it to winter season. I could be wrong, but that's just kind of how I feel and it's nice and it's one of the like earlier business casual things that I bought for myself when I was doing my youth parliament and that kind of stuff. So it has a sentimental value there, but I don't know how long I will keep this for. It fits for now, so we'll use it because I don't want to get rid of things that fit and that will work, but it's a navy blue and maroon plaid pencil skirt that I got a few years ago from Simon's and it has a matching cropped boxy uh, short sleeve shirt that goes with it. Love this, but again, very fall winter. We're seeing a trend. I have a lot of fall winter ones. I'm really gonna need to beef up my summer business casual. Last skirt, last bottom is a black faux leather skirt from Zara. This is a little bit risky, short. I don't think that it's work appropriate. Now we are going to move on to work shirts and blazers. Okay, we took a brief break for me to go and do laundry and my hair has gotten a little flat and worse for wear because it's very, very humid and warm. So please don't mind the hair. We're just gonna get through the rest of this clothing try on with just semi sad hair. So last category we have to try on is shirts and blazers and I'm going to wear these plain black pants that I tried on earlier for this and I think I'll just wear this plain black shirt to try on my three blazers that I have at the moment. First one is Forever 21 just a long black blazer with like a pinstripe on the inside for folding up the sleeves. This blazer is a million years old it was super cheap. The sleeves are kind of discolored on the pinstripe part could not do this up even if I tried. It's tight in the arms. The fit and the length of it are not cute. We are getting rid of this. I've held on to it for way too long. This one is a more recent purchase in the last couple of years. Um, it's kind of like tweedy material, I guess, and it's got the scrunched sleeves on it. I don't know how much I love it. I don't know how flattering it is. There's no button or anything on it. It's just kind of like an open front blazer. There's no pockets. It's not my favorite, but I think I'm gonna try and look up some like style inspiration and stuff for it because I mean, it was kind of expensive. Like I would like to get some professional wares out of it. But again, this is gonna be like a fall item, not a summer item. I got this one fairly recently through my pre-loved consignment place I bought it from them in the stories and sometimes it's difficult with those things because they the way that they wear them in the pictures that they take or the way that they style them it looks really good but then you get it home and you put it on yourself and you're like not quite it or like I don't really have the pieces to like complete that look but I think I think one of the things I want to buy is like leather pants like faux leather pants for work and I think this would look really nice with like some faux leather pants and maybe like a v-neck shirt or like a scoop neck like not the crew neck I think it needs to be like a little spicier with this like long plaid blazer but I think it's cute and again I'm gonna look up some like style inspiration for this because I think this one is like really nice and it's lightweight too so again like summer or spring it's going to be very nice as something to wear to the office Blazers are done. We're now moving on to shirts. This is just like a plain uh, silky camisole from J. Crew. I have this in red as well as black. I'll turn in the black as well, obviously to go under like a blazer or something. So maybe I'll pop that on right now. And we'll see with this black and white plaid blazer that I was just saying I don't know how to style. Yeah, that's already better than that plain black shirt. This is actually pretty cute. I do like this. Yeah, it just needs to be like a lower cut shirt. That like crew neck t-shirt was just 
not quite it. So yeah, French tuck that or fully tuck in the shirt. Okay, this is already a cute look. I'm liking this way better. I have my doubts about this blazer, so that's better. Okay, same camisole, just in black. Fits super nicely. I feel like these fit even nicer than when I bought them in the first place, which was several years ago. They're kind of long, but it's good for like tucking into pants and skirts and stuff. So I have this fully tucked into these pants. And yeah, it's just like a little bit more elevated than a regular like cotton shirt or cotton tank top underneath. Just like has a different texture, which is nice. Very similar camisole from J. Crew in navy blue, but it has the scalloped edge on it, which again is just cute and a little bit different from just like a regular scoop neck or v-neck or whatever. I really like this one. I think it looks really delicate, but there's also like clean lines to it. And I'm just a big fan of navy blue over black really, because it kind of makes my eyes pop more because I have blue eyes. So it just is like a little bit more flattering. Okay, this is a plain white linen short sleeve shirt from J. Crew. It's um, got some scalloped edge detail and like eyelet at the bottom and on the sleeves. It was my mom's. It's pretty old, I guess. Like we've had, she had it for a few years and then I've had it for several years, obviously. It's pretty cute. It does have like a split back which stays closed, so I guess it's not like scandalous. I'm not sure that it's the most flattering, like it kind of just like balloons on me a little bit, but I guess it's nice for like days where you're like bloated or like not feeling it for the office. And because it's like white and linen, it's super light and nice for summer. So this is a plain white cotton shirt that's actually from the same designer as these pants which is like a Montreal based designer. And I bought these two pieces together at a one of a kind craft show in downtown Toronto. And it's also similar to the J Crew one that I just had on, just kind of like plain. It's very light and lovely for summer. Again, kind of like balloons out and is like pretty big, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. And like, I do really like this shirt. Like, I don't know, I guess you could tuck it in, hold on. Okay, so you can tuck it in, and like it's a little bunchy in the pants. Maybe it would be better in a skirt tucked in. I don't know. I don't know about this one. This is another very new one that I bought on my little visit into Merrickville. When I bought, I bought those green pants from the same place, the uh, the light, the sage green ones. And yeah, I really like this shirt. It's got this like cute little detail at the top. The sleeves are nice. Again, very light and nice for summer. And I love the rust color. It's not a color that I have really in my wardrobe anywhere else. So it's kind of nice to go out of my comfort zone in this. And I have most recently been wearing this like with jeans and a black tank top underneath it because sometimes the buttons like gape a little bit so it's kind of nice to just have it undone and you wear it kind of more as a I don't know like an over shirt I guess that's what you'd call it is the navy and maroon plaid shirt that matches that skirt that I tried on earlier that makes a cute little matching fit I can't find the skirt now because it's in this giant pile of clothing I've tried on but I love this shirt and I like wearing it without the skirt as well like the two pieces are nice separately as well as together so I'm very happy with this. Again, pretty fall, but I guess I would maybe wear this one in the summer with just like regular pants. I am very obsessed with this shirt. I have worn it for so many different things, so many different job interviews. It's kind of like a maroony purple color and it's long sleeve, v-neck, uh, just like a billowy nice shirt that like gathers in on the wrists and it looks nice with skirts with jeans, with regular pants, it's just like the perfect shirt. Okay, I'm very similarly obsessed with this shirt. It's kind of similar actually with the like gather at the wrist and the like looser sleeves and whatnot. This one has a mock neck on it, which is very nice. I just love how bright it is. I never in a million years would think that I would buy an orange shirt, but I just loved, I was drawn to how bright it was and then I tried it on and the shape of it is just so nice. I've worn this one for a lot of job interviews for this particular job interview actually, I've worn it. It's nice because it's 
specifically for job interviews, same with that one. It covers my one like visible tattoo that I have on my arm here. So if I'm concerned about that for any reason, then I can wear one of those long sleeve shirts and it just covers that one spot, um, which I wasn't worried about for this particular job interview, but I just love this shirt. It makes me happy and like it's bright and fun to wear and kind of memorable. That's why I chose to wear it for the interview. And I just love this shirt. Those like billowy wide like black pants that have the tie at the top that I wore earlier. I actually bought these two items together from there, kind of like as an outfit. I look so professional when I wear both of them together. It's like a really killer outfit. So that might be my first day outfit, but I don't know that I wanna wear the same thing that I interviewed in. I'll probably buy something new for the first day outfit. Okay, thank you guys so much for coming along with me while I tried on all of my business casual clothing. I'm only getting rid of a couple of things, but honestly, over the past year or two, I've been trying to keep a closer eye on my closet and see what I wear and what I'm drawn to. And it's been tough because I haven't been working the kind of job that I want to be working. So I've been struggling to get rid of things, especially for my business casual wardrobe because I've been like, well, when I do get that job, I don't know what I want to wear. And when I do get that job, I don't know what's going to fit me. So this has been kind of nice to go through, see what does fit, see what I'm still drawn to, and cull some a couple of things from there that are not relevant for me right now in this stage of my life. I will definitely be buying some more things, especially for summer, because a lot of my things are fall and winter for my business casual wardrobe so I'll be looking into seeing some basics for lighter spring summer weather so if you have any suggestions of where you like to shop for business casual things please leave them down in the comments below because I have not bought business casual things in a long time and I don't want to spend an arm and a leg but I would like good quality things that don't look cheap so let me know where you shop from that doesn't have insane duties or shipping delays or that kind of stuff because I do need this stuff pretty soon. I would love to hear from you guys what you normally buy because that will really help me out to add to what I currently have. I'm mostly looking at like blazers and like some shirts to go underneath blazers and that kind of stuff. So yeah, let me know. But thank you again for tagging along. Some of my content will obviously be shifting a little bit now that I have a full-time desk job, but I'm hoping to take you guys through like weeks in my life at work and like weekends when I'm off work with my boyfriend, which is going to be super exciting. I'm so happy to have weekends off with him. But yeah, thank you guys for catching up with me and going through that with me. And we will see you next week. Bye, babes.